back to my YouTube. Um, Britain's Strongest Man this Saturday, the 26th. So we're sitting down and going to do a little predictions video. Um, I actually haven't done this before, I don't think. So, no, for a competition, no. Uh, a bit new. Um, so firstly, I just want to say there is a live stream on the official Strongman uh, website and their uh, Facebook. So I assume it's officialstrongman.com. Yeah. But we'll, but we'll put that below anyway to confirm. So straight off the bat, the lineup is Tom Stoltman, Luke Stoltman, Adam Bishop, Gav Bilton, Andy Black. Black. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you <laughs> it was it was the Bilton because we've just been eating some Bill Tong, so I uh, I made sure I said Bilton right. Um, Par pa Maguire. No. <laughs> Parra Par Dwyer. Dwyer, Paul Smith, Mark Steele, Ryan, Ryan England, England, Shane, Shane Flowers, Flowers, Desmond Gahan, and Mark Felix. Felix, yeah. And the events are they're going to start with a 200 kilo shield, max distance. Uh, then they've got the 360 axle deadlift, and I believe it's the bigger, uh, the bigger wheels, so the harder setup deadlift. Um, 150 kilo ish axle press for reps in 60 seconds. Sandbag 16 to 28, six bags. Six bags, yeah. Um, I think four, four and a half meters, 15 feet. Out? Height, height's four oh, and a half meters. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then the heavier set of Atlas stones. Fine, Ending on fine 200. Way. Yeah. I've never actually done that or completed that set. It's before. good because it's normally too, too quick. Yeah, last time the, the last time I did that set was at Europe's when I wasn't very well, and I didn't have my stone sleeves, so I don't really think I got to one eighty. Oh gosh! So yeah. yeah. Okay. So first off, two hundred shield. Who do you think? Um, my the bigger guys. <laughs> yeah, the weird thing is, I was saying this is if I did this prediction every day, it'd probably change every day. Um, obvious one, Tom Stoltman. He's the biggest guy there, probably the biggest wingspan. Um, you've then also got Andy Black, who's going to do very well. Pa looks suspiciously quite good at this. Yeah, but he can get his hands round. Yeah. How on earth he can do that? He must just have really long hands, really long arms. Because <laughs> really even you can't get your arms around it. Or a really small <laughs> chest. Oh, a yeah? small chest, Pa. <laughs> um, I heard Desmond is quite good at this on the quiet. Shane Flowers is also quite good. Max Steele's a record holder, 60 metres, no doubt he'll be quite Gav good. Gav was good when he came down and tried ours. And Felix, obviously, he's going to get his hands yeah. around it. He could probably wrap his hands around it twice. <laughs> um, so top three, I'm not going to pick Tom, because Tom's the obvious choice. I'm going to say that I think Andy Black is going to win this event, um, followed by Tom. And then probably Shane Flowers. Yeah. It's probably different to my last prediction that we did. <laughs> um, Who do you think? I don't know. Yeah, it's difficult. Don't know, there's too many people who can... Um... <laughs> it's the kind of event that you can mess up. Um... Yeah. And actually, on our last prediction that didn't work, <laughs> we tried to record it, you did say Andy, Shane and Parr. Right, so that's I think you yeah. Down. I think I think cause the thing is with Tom, I haven't seen him on this shield since he was a lot smaller uh, back in two thousand seventeen. He's a different athlete to then, so I can't you can't judge him on that performance. Um, I imagine he'll be very good at it. So, also, do we think Bish is going to fall over with the shield? <laughs> No, I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Third time lucky. I'm pretty sure it'll be okay this time. Yeah. Oh, bless yeah. him. So. Okay, so we've got first Andy, second Shane, and third Pa. No, I had Tom as second. Oh, did you? Also, oh, it's changed. Yeah. So you've got Andy, Tom, and then Pa. Yeah, Pa fourth. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Axel deads. You hands down Adam Bishop, obviously. Yeah. He never gets beaten at deadlift. Tom. Unless I was there. <laughs> Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, Next coulda. time, Hixie. Um Yeah, and then you've got Tom. Pa's <sighs> looking good on deads. Yeah, still nobody's going to challenge Tom or Adam. 
Well, this, that's no. very true. So pretty straightforward for me that it will be Bish, Tom, Felix. Interesting, that's exactly the same as last time. Yeah. <laughs> we referred to last time because we've done this video before, it didn't work We out. tried, yeah. Um, so. It just didn't record properly. Um, Axel Press 150 for reps. Who do you think? I actually think this event's become too light. Yeah, I seeing, think so too. Seeing everyone's videos, um, I think seven will probably be good to win. If it was a first event, I would, I would lean towards saying eight, but seven, seven will be very, very much a winning number for me. Do you think the fixed axle is going to catch people out though? I think everyone's trained it. I don't think. <laughs> not like the yeah, gone yeah, are the yeah. days where people go in without training it. It's not like yeah, it's not yeah. That them days have changed. Yeah. Obvious choice for me would be Luke Stoltman for first. But But Mark Steele looked good at it and his training videos. Paul Smith looks good at it, Pa looks good at it. Gav's Gav pretty good. Yeah, really good. Bish is pretty sly, he's probably going to be quite good at it, and Tom looks good at it, so I'm going to try and, I said, I'm pretty sure I said this last time, but I'm going to go out with Luke uh, for the win with seven, and I think there's going to be a lot of people tying the six reps, so. That's interesting, because last time you said you think everyone's going to get six, you said par first, Luke, and then Tom. Yeah, so I've just added a, a rep. For Luke. Yeah. <laughs> it must be in your good books. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's been a lot of a lot of new videos since then. That's true. Uh, yeah. And I think people have surprised me at how easy they're, they're lifting this. So I think if I was in my absolute best shape, I could probably push seven. But I would definitely say six was doable. So seven if it's a clean if it's a clean run, basically. But yeah, par. I think they're all going to be knackered from shield and then yeah. dead. So you've got. You'd be surprised to get six, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But there's going to be a lot of split points on that one. Yeah, everyone will be close. Saktos. Saktos, yeah. Six bags. Six bags. What did we? It was eighteen to twenty-eight. Was it sixteen to twenty-eight? Sixteen to twenty-eight, I think. But it might be eighteen. Um, obvious choice again is Tom because he smashed everyone at the keg toss at World's Strongest Man Sacks are obviously slightly different but essentially he's still throwing um, he's the biggest guy there um, he's very athletic pretty strong too you know, World's Strongest Man mm -hmm. so I'll go with Tom unless he makes a mistake but mistakes are very hard to predict so no mistakes, Tom will win that, hands down. It's also uh, an easy one to fumble as well, though. Yeah, but I honestly think he's that big. He can just mong it over. He will not <laughs> need to look back until no. maybe 28 kilos. Even then, he probably still won't. Yeah. He'll just chuck it and uh, it'll go over. For me, for the first couple, I probably wouldn't even move back. I'd throw them from where they are. Tom could probably throw them all from where they are. And then the last one, even take a step back. Yeah. Uh, Andy Black and then Shane Flowers they're my top three and funnily enough that is exactly how you had it last time <laughs> so. but you're going to have you have Luke who's going to put a good run in Bish will put a good run in I'm sure Gab will do well Pa yeah it's it's a funny one but they're, you know, they're the three that shine and stand out for me um, but Luke and Bish um, will be on the tails with it I'm sure and hopefully they'll surprise him because if they can if they can put a good performance in on that then he'll mix the points up. Out the stones. Heavy stones. Obviously a heavy stone favours. Not just Tom. speed anymore, thankfully. <laughs> a heavy stone favours Tom. So Tom for the win on the stones. Yeah, that's, that's what you had last time. And then Andy is is probably probably the best second best stone lifter on paper there. Yeah. Um, but Bish is I was just about to say Bish is, yeah, Bish is close behind. Bish always puts a good stone run in. 
usually. But he fumbles sometimes under pressure. Hopefully he's not under that much pressure and he can just have a good stone run. He's always this last little yeah. slip yeah. on the stone or... Yeah, well, I'm going to go Tom, Tom, Bish, Andy. And that's what you had last time as yeah. well. Yeah, but again, Luke may maybe <laughs> pinch a four. I don't know, but like... It, it's hard, it's, it's hard. close. It's yeah. definitely going to be a close competition again. Yeah. It'd be good I, to watch. I'm just trying to say a top three on the th to make it easier for me. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, overall, going by that, Tom to win Britain's Strongest Man again. Yeah. And Ambition to come second again. Yeah. And Luke Stoltman to come third. Ooh. But it probably won't be that simple because it never is. Tom Bish and Luke. Yeah. Yeah. So please get involved, put your predictions on the video, um, comment below. Let's see what you guys think. See if you agree with me. Um, obviously, I've trained with these guys, competed with these guys for a very long time. They're always going to be surprises. Guarantee there'll be some form of surprise. Someone will probably win an event that we didn't expect, or someone will do badly on an event that you didn't expect. Something could happen on the day. The stones could roll <sighs> off. The axle could you run know, away. Yeah. These comps are heavy. Yeah. Someone might get injured. Yeah. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed our little video. Um, hopefully, we'll see some of you there. We're going to be there on Saturday. We'll be mingling around, um, and I'll probably come and take some pictures and say hi to the audience. So. Thanks for watching, have a great evening and enjoy the competition on Saturday. Thanks everyone. Thanks, bye. Peace out. <laughs>